My name is Elisa Mawani Daniel. I come from South Sudan. Um, I come from South Sudan, a country that has gone through many struggles in its history. And the church has been the only institution that has played a role, a big role, in the life of the people of Sudan and South Sudan in both private and public affairs. And as I come to this uh, world family, the global family of the World Council of Churches, the testimony that I bring is that yes, there's another part of the body that has been going through uh, challenges, but it has been resilient, it has been persistent, and has faithfully stood because of the prayers and the support of this global family. As part of the same body with different parts, we have experienced the love, prayers, and support and encouragement that was from uh, here back home. And I have come to say thank you for all your faithfulness in praying for Sudan and South Sudan, where I come from now. And God has faithfully answered the prayers. But my urge, of course, is that the challenges are still there in the country. Prophetic is a call and a duty for the church. The church is called to be prophetic. That means it speaks to the challenges and to the issues of society. It is the voice of the voiceless. We have situations, especially in South Sudan, where the people cannot speak for themselves. The common and ordinary people are suppressed and their needs and their rights are deprived them. But it's only the church that has been there for them. They find refuge in the church, they find comfort, and they find hope through the church. So they, when the church speaks out and acts out on behalf of the people, because this is what God calls the church to do. It is there as the voice, the oracle of God, to speak to the issues that affect God's people and God's creation. And that is what I meant by being prophetic. You know, the church has been there with the people. And so the country currently is going through a lot of challenges. Peace is absent. And this peace, I have always said this in many forum, a fora, that it is only through prayers and through the church that South Sudan can restore peace. And so as we pray, we are remembering the challenges that the people are going through, but we are also calling upon God to use the church to stand firm and to speak out for the, those who cannot speak for themselves. So as we pray, we want to challenge the situation that is happening in the ground. The leaders of Sudan and South, uh, the leaders of South Sudan are people who have become selfish. They care less about the people, and yet the people are suffering. So as we pray, we want to stand in solidarity with the ordinary people of Sudan and South Sudan. So this prayer is to call the whole global family of God to pray and stand with the people of God in South Sudan who have been suffering for the last 50 years.